Um, it's currently 7.20. That's Harry Styles' face. Um, and October 9th. So, today. Um, well, one of my biggest dreams is coming true, which is I am going to go pick up my puppy. I mean, who wouldn't be excited? Puppy is an amazing, everybody loves dogs. It's so cliche, I know. But I just wanted to give a little bit of backstory for anyone who might be watching this and is also thinking of getting a puppy or like dreaming about that life, you know. I personally, I don't know, ever since, I'm just gonna straighten my hair and talk because two birds in one stone, am I right? And by the way, I'm very new to this vlog life, so that might be a lot of ranting too. So the backstory is that I've always wanted a puppy and my mom can't remember the first time I asked her for a puppy because that's how long I've been asking. Like ever since I was a little like four year old kid, I wanted a puppy. So anyway, we never owned a dog. So I am currently 29 years old <laughs> and finally, after planning uh, for almost two years now to get a dog, I made sure that I chose an apartment that is um, close to a lot of parks. I have a park that is very close to me, literally like six minutes walk, and I have a beautiful park. And this apartment is pet friendly. There's like pet spa, like a small area for to groom them, and a little bit of small like open balcony kind of thing for them to run around so this is a super pet friendly building and it took me two years guys to save money be mentally prepared and to get this freaking dog and I did my research I love big dogs but given my lifestyle it's not fair to bring a big size dog in my life so I had to choose a small one but I didn't want a lap dog because I would love to take him for walks, long walks, run, bikes, bike rides, bikes, biking and things like that so I did my research and I was um, narrow I narrowed it down to two uh, breeds. One was Skipperky. I hope I'm saying it right. It's like a black Pomeranian kind of looking dog, but a bigger than a, a little bit bigger than a Pomeranian. And then my second option was Papillon. So I contacted the breeders in Ontario, and all of them said that they are planning a litter in spring 2021, which is like. You know, with small dogs, the thing is, you get only three, if you're lucky, four puppies a litter. So um, it's very hard to find one. If not, you have to wait for the next litter. And I was kind of looking forward to have one for this Christmas. So I started to contact other breeders across Canada and this was going on in summer time, like in July, August, I was like contacting everyone. Everyone's like, nope, we can only expect one next year. And also small dogs, they like to keep them up until 12 weeks. So you have to wait for it to get pregnant, which will be like two months and then three months only. Yeah, and three months they would stay with the owner because small dogs they they are very fragile they don't want to give it away when it's eight weeks so they like to keep it up till 12 weeks so overall you have to wait for a long time <laughs> to get a puppy and I was kind of convinced at one point probably around um, end of August September ish that I'll be getting only in 2021 so I was kind of starting to accept the fact that I am never gonna get a puppy for this Christmas 
maybe next year before my 30th birthday and my goal was to have a dog that was a year old for my 30th birthday so that I can take him or her for hiking and you know explore somewhere nice and new so given the situation I thought okay maybe I will not get a puppy this Christmas I have to wait next year you know everything happens for a reason blah 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 but then I was like putting out in the universe like I, I really would love to have a puppy I'm prepared I'm waiting I, I planned everything for two years I deserve a good dog I am prepared I'm being responsible uh, financially and mentally emotionally and all that please give me a puppy right and then out of nowhere a lady from Manitoba emailed me with pictures of Leo the puppy that I'm picking up today I was like this is unreal are you fucking kidding me at first I thought this must be a scam because I was putting the word out in every website possible every Facebook page possible so I was like this must be a scam cuz that puppy was ridiculously good-looking and she was like um it's available soon you know next week or so you can you know it's available and I live in Manitoba I'm like that's it I don't have to wait I get a puppy like next week and I was like okay I need to do more research on this lady and then I remembered um, she got my email contact from a website where I had filled a puppy application for um, from that breeder I did my research and I saw her email and I made sure she is a real person and I replied saying yes I'm interested and blah 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 and I would like to know about his temperament is he too shy or is he too hyper because I didn't want a too hyper dog because that will do that would be better if you have kids in the house and their energy levels would match and they both would be hyper and they would both tire each other out um, and also I didn't want a dog that is too shy I wanted a really outgoing confident uh, medium energy dog so I asked her what's the temperament what is he like and blah 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 and she was like he well he doesn't have a typical puppy energy but he's an outgoing an outgoing character he's confident and blah 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 I didn't even mention those words and she mentioned it and then I was like okay this is this is crazy it's too good to be true and I was like I don't know what to do and then you know what I fucked up so many things in my life and all those fuck ups were not even worth a penny but if I fuck this up I I would take it as a sign that I'm still not ready to have a dog you know what fuck it <laughs> I'm just gonna buy this dog from this lady she seems legit I did my research her um, kennel name is and uh, listed in the CKC website she's from Manitoba yep I just you know I did my you know reassuring things online to make sure that she's a real person I was like you know what let's do it and I said okay I'm gonna buy this dog okay and we didn't even have a phone call or talk or anything we were just going back and forth through email and I asked her to send the pictures of its parents and everything and everything seemed legit like if someone was trying to scam me I kind of you know you could kind of tell because you could tell that they're not giving you enough details or like they're not giving you um, those kind of like minor, minor details like she was giving me like really good details like oh I have to take him for vaccination next week and typically we like to keep him with us after vaccination so that you know we like to see how he is doing sometimes they get a fever after vaccination 
um, so blah 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 and I was like I am not ready next week by the way I know you want to give him to me next week I need time to let my colleagues know that I'll be taking a week off because I'm getting a new puppy so I need two weeks time before you can send him to me and once I emailed that back she was like you know what that sounds better because I think that would be a great idea that you're taking your time off and blah 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 so she really understood all of those kind of situations like I'll keep him for two weeks that's not a problem I'll send it to him when you tell me when you want it so I chose today because today is the 9th of October and oh my god I'm, I'm like I don't know um, today is 9th of October and Thanksgiving is on Monday so technically I have to take just four weeks off four day four working days off and today I already had like three to four vacation days because of COVID I was laid off and then I was employed again so my vacation days was not much so I just had three to four days so it was all good so my vacation days was covered and I took today and the entire week off so the first 10 days I have full attention on him to set up a routine um, I am prepared okay the reason I'm filming this video is that I just wanted to record my anticipation and just document it. I still feel like this is too good to be true because, hold on, I'm filming this because <laughs> I still feel like this is too good to be true. There's Even now there's a slight chance that I'm being scammed. But, it, but I know I'm not because she sent me the paperwork, she sent me um, the cargo information of where to pick up the puppy. All her information is on that paper, her phone number, her email, her address. It cannot be a fraud, okay? But I just, you know, I never had something so perfect ever in my life that I don't know how to receive it, if that makes sense. And I'm doubting if it's actually true or if I'm just dreaming in a weird dream and one day I'm gonna wake up and this is all just a dream. <laughs> Talk about anxiety. So yeah, now that I've straightened my hair, um, I just, I'm just, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna find out today if I'm being scammed or I'm actually getting a puppy it's too good to be true I don't know how to receive it I feel sick in my stomach I feel weird I feel like whoo that's how I feel and um, excited but nervous that's how I feel but when I meet him let's say it is real and he is there coming towards me right now Let's say this video you know, when I meet him, I want to be calm and assertive, Caesar's way. I want to cleanse my energy before I go, and I hope I do. Um, and I'm not gonna take this camera with me because clearly I don't know how to handle it. I don't want to break it. I'll try to film it in my phone maybe, and um, or I will just, you know what? I won't film anything. I will just receive him and record what's happening in my brain and write it down on the way home so that I don't forget that moment. I'm gonna write it down to remember that moment and it'll be there forever. And maybe, so the next clip is probably either me crying my eyes out or me holding the puppy. So, Wish me luck and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Peace out for now, for now.